honey stance Friday here. You probably won't see this until maybe Saturday. But today is a big day for us. We're gonna get our first delivery of honey um, from a local apiary here. We're also getting a big roll off uh, dumpster put here so we can start getting rid of a lot of the excess stuff that's around the, the farm that we just don't need anymore. Uh, but I wanted to show you the inside of this uh, building. Um, I can post some before pictures. I don't think I filmed it before, but close this door. One thing we have learned is you have to keep this door closed or we get to swarm with bees. I just wanted to show you the progress that we've made in this building. Uh, this was just floor to ceiling with old equipment and old stuff. And as you can see, we've gotten it all out. Scott's moved some of his tools in. We've made a designated uh, tool uh, equipment uh, area that we'll be use, using for staging the equipment that we use for the honey. Um, that's, that's the door out. This right here, and I know we're gonna replace this board back here. I, I can hear all of the comments about the water staining. Uh, but the building is dry. This is old water before they had the roof replaced. So no worries, there's no active mold or anything. It's just water staining. So, but we are going to replace that and paint it. And uh, this right here will be um, the area that we stage for cleaning supplies. Like uh, we're gonna put a rack here and hang the mops and brooms. Uh, we get a um, hanger to connect these two by fours here and hang our mops and brooms. These two barrels, this one still has some honey in it. We're heating it at the moment. Uh, it had crystallized around the bottom. We don't know how old it is, but we're just going to drain it and uh, be able to move this, this barrel out. And then this is an empty barrel that we use. It's on rollers. And uh, we actually, have, he's been using it to put the pump on it. Um, just to get to the vats, to put the honey into the vats. And so these two will go. Um, we're gonna get a, a newer, uh, like a shelf on rollers to put the pump on so we don't have these yucky barrels anymore. But these will go and I'm gonna put a stainless steel rack here and we're gonna have all of our stainless steel utensils that we need to use for the honey uh, processing. Um, here's our three stage sink. Uh, again, this is water condensation from an old leak. Um, that's actually a heater up there because we have to keep this environment in 80 degrees, low humidity. So uh, that's a, an important tool for us right there. So we've got to keep that going. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have cleaned this sink. It still needs some cleaning on the outside, but we have steamed it and cleaned it. And all of the utensils are in the sink right now. We still need to go through those and clean those up really well and see what we can keep and what we need to replace. This is one of the main vats. Um, we are not using it and currently. Uh, it's just a little too tall, too close to the ceiling. Um, and there's not a port to be able to pump the honey into. So it, it just, it's empty and it seems a little accessible for, uh, unaccessible for us. So I don't think we're gonna use this one quite yet. Um, these two, uh, these are, I don't know if these are the newest ones, but they're the ones that they have been using the most. Um, probably because they're lower and they're easier to get the honey into. We, these hoses right here, um, one goes into the pump and then the other one goes out of the pump into the vat. And, uh, it, you know, it's, this is the, the hose uh, clamp right here that holds the hose down in there so it doesn't, you know, spew all over the place. Um, and then, you know, there's lids for both of these. Uh, and they're okay. These, these work good. And this one right here is the one we're currently using. This one's got just finished cleaning out and taking it apart and going through it. And then this is the main one that we're gonna be working on uh, to get it cleaned out and up to code and make sure that it's 
we will probably start using this one. Uh, it makes the most sense to Scott and I. It's the newest, it's stainless steel, and um, it doesn't have any welds or anything going on it. So I think we're gonna eventually try to switch to this vat when this one is empty. So, and then Scott got a shelf moved in here and we've got staging for all of the bottles and the equipment that we need and the lids. And uh, we still have some of the bottles and the lids that we've ordered up in the house uh, just because we were cleaning in here. We just didn't want to get them dirty. So put them up in the house, but we're going to be getting more of these totes. We can fill two of these totes on each shelf and we'll be placing the bottles in these totes and get it all nice and organized. But compared in the floor, well, this is dirty because we, it rained here this morning. And we've been walking in and out. But I wish you could see the pictures of before, but the floor is like pristine <laughs> compared to when, when we uh, first saw this place. You walked in and you just had a sour, honey, yucky smell. And now you walk in and it's a fresh, nice, clean smell. So Scott's done a really good job getting all of this going. And, uh, and I'm sure he's enjoyed every minute of it. Have, have you enjoyed every minute of it, Scott? Absolutely. <laughs> he, he has not. <laughs> so. to go now and uh, we're gonna get our honey delivered in a little bit and I'll be filling that to this, so we'll, we'll talk to you in a little bit. enough to do it, but once you make climb over, you got it. You got about a short ground. I don't know. I don't think it's about an over read. It will not hold it. Whoops. Because I, mean, I, I did it one time, and uh, I was selling, I think, a rising high bakery in South Carolina, Columbia. dumpster. here and watch Scott do this bobcat thing. There's this really strange looking bug that I'm going to take a picture of and uh, then we'll watch him do some of the work. I know. I know. It's just
is creepy looking. He's gonna pop this fence up. little bit it is just it's a handful it's wearing us out really quick it's hot I am gonna be able to save these glass jars that have never been used this is whole box they've never been used but the boxes are decayed they, they were just left out here the glasses are still fine we have all of the lids inside Plus we have a bunch more that I just found. I uh, kicked a box when I was moving it. Now it's all good inventory. We're not gonna put anything out that's questionable. Um, this thing right here, this yellow thing, has something to do with the barrel. We just don't know what. <laughs> but we'll have fun trying to figure that out. It's taking longer because uh, this area is infested with ants and we've uh, sprayed some stuff but boy, they are still just climbing right up us and biting. And they're stingy little things. They're just tiny little bitty ants. And uh, boy, they are itchy. And Scott is actually in the camper right now showering off because he had so many on him and he was just getting eaten alive. Just uh, picking up jars that are on the surface because, yeah, I'm not brave enough to pick up this stuff and snakes be under there. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to let him do that part. And I'm just going to stand by and say, yes, I want that. No, I don't want that. <laughs> That's a good job for me. <laughs> so we spilled some honey on the ground. This is what happens when you're outside. Oh, well, I guess you can. <laughs> hey, I am walking out in the woods right now. And I was just going to point out, right back here is a place where we're going to put a tiny little home. And then, right in this clearing here, there's, there'll be one. And then, as you can see, that clearing back in there. We'll probably put one back in there. Uh, and there's several more clearings. It's cut. going through the woods. <laughs> so, anyway, we're just out exploring, trying to think of um, where to put things. Would you believe that this is three pound? And this and the five pound are the best selling out of all the sizes. So 
traditional little bear. We have these small bears that we pair up with the, I call them the mama, mama and baby bear. We sell those as a set. Okay. So we really, all I do is I mark the top of the price. I put the weight on here. This is three pound. And I put them on the shelf. Raining up a storm. I hope you all enjoyed uh, our progress around the farm the last day or two, and uh, there'll be plenty more coming. We're doing lots around here, and if you're in the area, stop by and see us and grab some honey and say hi and introduce yourself. We'd love to hear some stories from the locals around here. Uh, until the next video, God bless you all.